is up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today we're hanging out on a good Saturday about to plan another week and I wanted to take you guys through my entire process as to how I plan out not only my month but my week and how I use a bullet journal I had done this in the fall and you guys seemed to really like it and wanted me to go into more depth so I'm sharing all my tools what my planner looks like how I map out things from bucket lists to planning gifts for people, how I track my sleep, how I track my habits, how I track my mood, and then how I map out the entire month. I'm also gonna share my wall calendar and how I plan out business stuff and goals and things like daily videos and how I organize my life that way. So I will share every single thing that I use. I will link it down below as per usual. And we're gonna brew ourselves a cup of coffee, set up and get all cozy. I'm gonna show you guys my office tools and all my things. And we're gonna do this together. We're gonna plan out a whole bunch of stuff. So if, that, if that's something you guys wanna see, then just keep watching. All right, so the first thing I did was set up the area in which I was going to plan. I feel like making a nice little area on my coffee table just sets me up better for a planning session. So I made sure to have my floor pillow. I had a 30 day calendar, like a month calendar set up. I got my markers, my planner book, my blue light glasses, and then I needed a cup of coffee. So I made myself a little cappuccino in my beach club gingerbread mug, which I loved. It was a little peppermint mocha. Then I made my way over to the fireplace and I put on a good movie. Carl took my floor pillow and we set up. So the first thing I did is I went onto Pinterest and I figured out the designs that I wanted. I was just inspired by them and I kind of went from there. So I knew I needed to do a Christmas list page of all the gifts that I was getting for people, including Andre and family and such. So I kind of just made like a cute little ribbon design for the lettering. It really wasn't that hard, especially with these types of pens. So these are Tombow markers. They're the best markers, super important. The actual planner that I use, the grid paper in the journal, is a Scribbles That Matter journal. And the pages are thicker, it's just better. And then the markers are Tombow. And that combination, there is no bleed through. I'm telling you, if you have bleed through, it's just super annoying because then you can see it on the opposite page and it's no fun. So these little brush markers, you can actually create like a gradient. It makes it really pretty. So I did like a, ri a red ribbon and then I had a little tag that went through that said gifts. And I got that idea off of Pinterest. I will try and pin everything on my Pinterest, including some things that I used for this. And then I just created like a little list under there. So. If you've never used a bullet journal, the idea of a bullet journal is you have the grid paper. So you don't really need a ruler if you don't wanna use one. And that way everything is all lined up and it just makes sense. So it makes it a lot easier to make little titles like this. So one section was going to be family gifts that we needed to get or that we have bought. And then the other one was specifically for Andre and Carl. So I had like immediate family, like our little family and then our general family. Then I wanted to set up an actual week grid. So I started by making a little border, like a holly border, not complicated at all. Like a lot of this might look complicated, but once you start, it's really not that bad. And then for the daily tasks, I did these little North Pole poles and I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday as one. And then it kind of like a little checklist and then the snow and I had like the little cute truck car. You guys, are, the only thing I struggle with in life is drawing vehicles and I feel like I did really good. So then I did my top three, a little to-do list section, popped on a good Hallmark movie. This one was so good. And then I lit a candle. So this was on to another day. This was filmed in two separate days. And this is a huge part of my planning process. So I will actually create a system for how I'm going to film my videos. Now you could do this for any of like your work goals or just one to do thing that you have per day. If you're a blogger, whatever it might be, if you have kids, this is a really good system. So I actually have this acrylic board in my office that was a total awesome DIY project. And then I map out every single video I'm gonna do by just putting it on one post-it note. And once it's done, I'll either take off the post-it or I'll cross it off. So this is kind of how I DIY this acrylic board. So. We had the acrylic board custom cut and then we bolted it into the wall. And I wanted to share this. I got these magnetic little um, dry erase. So it's actually a dry erase board, the acrylic board. And I just kind of click it onto that at sign because it's magnetic. It's very convenient. And the vinyl is off of Etsy. I will link it for you guys. So then from there, around the post-it notes, I just put little notes as to like, okay, part of that is filmed, still need to finish certain parts of it so on and so forth. So it's a really good way to kind of map out your overall month goal. 
So today I watched Muppets Christmas Carol. I love that movie so much. And then I went through and I finished up what I had planned. So you might have noticed I keep the same planner for the entire year. So you saw my fall planner in there. It's a really cool way to just have your entire year. So I will say I'm really excited to get a new one for 2020. And I think I'll still stick with like straight up black one. The other thing that I want to share with you guys that I do in my planner is tracking systems. So I like tracking my mood. I think as women, it's really easy for us to default and to be like, oh, I had a terrible month or I was grumpy or whatever. If you can track it, it just gives you an idea of maybe when certain things are setting you off. And the reason why I put the other tracker next to it that is my sleep tracker, sometimes they go hand in hand. So what I did is I created like a little legend for the mood tracker. It's basically a string of lights. And let's say like I did red for happy and then I think I did yellow for anxious and whatnot. So it just kind of mapped it out for me and gave me a real visual view of exactly how I'm feeling and maybe the reason why. So next to each light bulb, I put a little number which represents the day of the month. And then as you go through the month, you can fill out the light bulbs and the respective color and how you're feeling. And then same with the sleep tracker. So this one took a little while because you have to put all the numbers. I'm sure there's a simpler way. I just thought it looked really cute like this. So I have every single day of the month. And all I have to do now, once that's laid out, is I just take that one gray color and I map out exactly how long I slept for from which hour to which hour. And then it was time to map out the actual 30 day month. The reason why I shared the 31 day month, the reason why I shared that square and me changing the paper, I often get this question. What happens if you mess up in your bullet journal? I will show you what to do. But here is my 31 day calendar. I just did a bunch of little squares and I put December at the bottom 2019. And then the little squiggles that you can see super simple. It's basically just strings of lights. And then I did a little color. I think I did like four different colors that represented the bulbs with my little markers. It actually turned out super cute and it was really, really simple to do. I loved how that finished out like the little multicolored lights. And I ended up highlighting the outline of December with a black marker as well, which always makes it just look that much better. Then I went onto Pinterest and I grabbed my own pin, which was my movie list. So next to the Christmas gift list, I made a movie list and I wanted to share how I'm using stickers here. Like you don't have to be super creative and able to draw all these things. You can get some stickers and make it look just as cute. So I did a little movie list, which I grabbed off of my Pinterest. I will link it for you guys down below. Then see that square that I messed up. I turned it into a little present. Just flip the page and come back to it later. So these two pages, I basically did a Christmas bucket list. So I did a video on not only my movie list, but I did it on my Christmas bucket list. So I thought these stickers were super cute. They were by Happy Planner. And there's a little sticker book that had all of these bucket list items. So I thought that was super cute. And then I just added in my own little flair, my own little touches and did some arrows from bucket list item to bucket list item. You can see the 31 day layout and then the bucket list items of everything that I want to do for the holiday season. And then I have my, my two lists. So my movie list and my gift list. And then I did one week's layout. So I'll be able to recreate that for next week and then my trackers. So this will keep going, but it's a really great way to be able to map out your month. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed the plan with me video. Don't forget, I will link absolutely everything that I used from the journal to the markers, to the calendar, the vinyl. You guys often ask about the vinyl for the wall calendar. I will share all of that in the link in the description. And if you guys enjoy these plan with me's and like the more goal setting, just note that I'm going to be doing a bunch of them right after Christmas. We're kind of going to shift gears into the new year and do like goal setting and dream board stuff and planning for 2020, which I'm all about. I love that type stuff. So make sure that you're subscribed, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any videos, but also give this a thumbs up to let me know that you guys like these types of videos because that always helps me gauge. And with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes. But I think you feel it too Like a vibration right between us With a beautiful tune Could we fall in love?